Let's go get some coffee. So you were asking me a question earlier about how we can better, how we can prepare for 2021. And I think the most important thing is to remember that 2020 is not lost. It's not like a wasted year, right? It can seem like with everything that we've been dealing with and all of the difficult circumstances and the impossible, like incredibly mind bending things that have been happening in our in our communities in our country in our world it can feel like 2020 was just a cluster bleep just a waste and we just want to forget about it we want to move past it it was a disaster we don't want to talk about it and i think that's a mistake i think we need to talk about what we've been through I think 2020 is a year of healing and forward motion. That's my, that's my hope. That's my prayer. And every single thing that I've ever healed from, uh, whether it was physical or emotional, and I, I have more experience with emotional pain than I have with physical pain. So the healing from emotional pain, from, from even trauma, means that as you're healing, you're still hurting. As you're healing, you're, you're processing and you're feeling the pain. And I think in healing, we have to be willing to go through the things that have happened in 2020 and that are still happening. They're not done yet. But healing is almost like a commitment to the promise of goodness, to a better future to growth and and even strength from the things that have been so so challenging so in thinking about 2021 um, whether you have been severely and tragically impacted or you have just you know you've been impacted but your life has been kind of going along and, and you've been doing well um, and anything and anyone in between what 2020 has taught us that we can all go through the same thing and have a very different experience and that's okay no matter where you are in your experience of 2020 there is so much that we collectively have to address um, collectively and individually have to heal from collectively and individually can grow from and that there is so much possibility still for goodness and betterment and and growth and all those things that keep our human spirit going moving forward evolving forward and that's really what i'm excited about that is what i'm thinking about for 2021 and actually it's what i've been thinking about all of 2020 and I've been, you know, going like the rest of us in these sort of like ups and downs. Uh, and as I'm driving, I'm feeling my suspension, you know, it's absorbing the shock. And sometimes in life, we're going through these things and there's nothing to absorb the shock. Like it just is all full impact. We're going up and down and we are taking it all. There's nothing, there's no shock absorbance or Maybe we had shock absorbance and now they're worn out. So that's that too, part of 2021, is for us to learn to heal that part, to recognize that part, but also to maybe build some margin in to absorb some of the unrest and the upheavals 
that we're going through personally and professionally and that we will continue to go through as a human race because we have so much work to do. So my hope for 2021 is that we stay engaged, that we stay focused, that we embrace an attitude of possibility and that we lean into doing um, the best work that we can do and, um, and challenge ourselves in being better. That's my hope.